Well, uh, Chris Ballard has completed his uh, second draft for the uh, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, he had a, a pretty good weekend in my mind. I just wish that the Colts got a quarterback within the first 100 picks. I know that it's uh, socially acceptable to think that Andrew Luck will be back and ready to go and healthy in 2018, but when he hasn't touched a football since 2016 and uh, he hasn't been uh, throwing a football one bit, I actually have uh, long-term concerns. In fact, I don't think that he'll be playing um, after 2020. I don't think that he will have a 10-year career. Even his ex-teammate, a respectable former Pro Bowl veteran like Dequal Jackson, uh, has said that he believes that Andrew Luck uh, might be done. He told this to Good Morning Football on NFL Network during the 2017 season. That being said, uh, when you look at the current selections that they made, Quinton Nelson is you know by far the best guard. He was maybe one of the three best prospects, if not the absolute best prospect in the 2018 draft. Darius Leonard is a great linebacker addition, especially with his uh, you know, 4 6 4 6 or 4 7 40, his uh, basketball background from high school and on tape. He shows that he is a, uh, a pretty terrific athlete. He knows how to, you know, he knows how to move from sideline to sideline. Uh, he has the potential of being a really good cover player. Um, and, and I also have to look at Braden Smith. Uh, former shot putter in high school, and that's helped him develop great leverage skills at the guard position. Uh, potential steals include Dory Fountain, the wide receiver from Northern Iowa. He had a 42.5 inch vertical jump and an 11, an 11 inch broad jump. I mean, typically, many of the most explosive athletes have broad jumps of, of around the 10 foot range, uh, and a potential steal could be Dion Kane. Deion Kane, in his second to last year at Clemson, uh, had a 17-yard per catch average with Deshaun Watson. However, he kind of struggled at times and wasn't very consistent. He had a yard per catch average of just over 12. He could turn things around uh, if he either wins a potential starting job with the Colts, or maybe he, you know, or maybe he finds his way to you know crack the lineup. If he does, then then he could be a potential steal uh, for the Colts, uh, the same way that Vic Ballard had been a potential steal, actually not an actual steal for the Colts when he was a rookie in 2012. Let's just hope that the ending story, the end of of uh, of Dion's, Dion Kane ends in a good one because Ballard had torn his Achilles tendon back in 2013, the same year that the Colts decided to acquire Trent Richardson for a first-round pick.